In this quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make snow particles in After Effects. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and make a new solid. And the actual color doesn't matter, so I'm just going to keep it default. And then next I'm going to search for an effect. And the effect I'm going to be using in this tutorial is called CC Particle Systems 2. And here it is right here, so I'm just going to drag it onto my solid. So straight away you will get this default spark particle emitter. And so what I first like to do is I like to drag up the actual emitter so that you can see they are coming from off screen like this and falling. So my snow particles will be falling from an emitter which is above the composition window. And next I'm going to do quite a bit of editing on the actual particle effects. Okay, so first things first, I like to drop down all of these menus so I have all of the attributes available to edit. And what I like to do is I like to start by changing the actual particle type. So by default, it will be set to line, which is uh, the soft sparky line particle. So I'm going to change that to a faded sphere. And this is the particle which most looks like a snow particle. So then I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to change the birth color to white. And the death color is usually pretty much the same color as the birth color. What you can do is you can make it slightly darker if you want to, but really as long as they're both white, it's pretty much going to look like snow. Okay, great. Now on to the birth rate. So the birth rate is basically how many particles are emitted at the start. And I want quite a low birth rate because I don't want a massive blizzard. I want quite a nice sort of uh, authentic sort of light uh, snowy snowfall. So I'm going to put the birth rate at quite a low value of 0 0.1. Okay, and then I want to choose how long the actual particles last before they fade away. And I actually want them to last quite a long time. So I'm just going to ramp that up to about 4 seconds. All right, great. So for the animation preset, I'm going to change it from explosive to twirly. And this creates sort of a more of a, like a light blizzard effect and it can look quite nice. Okay, so now for the velocity, and I'm going to change that from 1 to about 1.6. So it's a bit less of a sort of force which is having an effect on the snow. So let's have a look at what it looks like so far. So as you can see, um, it's sort of getting there. It's sort of moving a bit sort of in a... And a kind of a not very interesting way so far, so I'm going to have to work on that. But at the moment, it's definitely getting there. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the gravity. Now, this is a really important element when you're using particles, and I'm actually going to decrease that to about 0.1. And this will basically allow the particles to spread out and essentially move in a much different way. So as you can see, they are definitely moving in a more interesting way, not just sort of straight down. They're sort of really floating in a sort of nice fluid way, and it looks really nice actually. So this is getting way more to the effect I am going for here. Okay, so I'm just about done with this effect. And lastly, I'm going to change the birth size and death size. So this is the size at which the particles are when they are first emitted. And this is the size of the particles when they are faded out. So for the birth size, I'm going to go quite small. I'm going to go for about 0.09. And for the depth size, I'm going to go for about half this value, roughly half. I'll do about 0 0.35. All right, great. And lastly, I'm just going to change the max opacity to just about 50, so it's a bit more subtle. All right, so I'm going to press play and check out the snow effect. Okay, so there we go. It's a really nice subtle effect. And as I mentioned before, I didn't want to make a massive blizzard effect. I just want to make quite a nice light subtle snow effect because I think it looks really nice. So there we go. In about four minutes, I've created a really simple but nice looking snow effect to use. So as always, I hope you found this video useful. And if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, please subscribe.